Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So today we're gonna to be talking about the K-Mini Plus, and in particular, we're gonna talk about a major fix that is so simple, it is absolutely amazing, and it makes people go crazy, me in particular. I have been completely flabbergasted by this for so many years. I'm on my second K-Mini. I actually had to contact the company, they sent me out a brand new one, and this one occasionally will do the same thing the other one did, but I found the fix. It was actually on their uh, the website uh, in their manual. So I read through the manual. I was looking for another thing, uh, how to turn the temperature up, and I found a fix that is gonna blow you away. It may not be the fix for you, but it's definitely a fix for a lot of people who have this problem that comes and goes. And you're like, why is it not a problem every time? So in this video, we're gonna be showing you how to fix it and make it work perfectly every time so you don't have any headaches when you're just trying to get a cup of coffee before you start your day. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so I'm over here with my K-Mini Plus, and I have to say that this thing works phenomenally, but there is one major flaw. If you do get less than six ounces of water in here, it will simply suck the water into the water reservoir, it'll heat it up, and then it will not brew it. So take that into consideration when you're thinking about buying this thing or if you have it and you're having trouble, that's what's happening. Also, it's not very accurate, meaning if you have it at the six line, some of the times you will not brew anything at all. So that is a huge uh, downfall for this unit itself. I've noticed that several times if I had it directly on the six, what will happen is it'll pull in a little bit before it starts to do the whole measuring thing, okay? It'll pull in a little bit and then it'll be below the six, then it pulls the whole thing down into the reservoir and then it says it's not at six fluid ounces. So what you have to do is go either to eight fluid ounces or go just above or halfway between six and eight. So that is something that you're gonna to need to do. Also, if you have eight in here and you really only want six, you can just simply pull your mug out of the way and it'll drip down into the catch down there. This is a fix for people out there who are dealing with that situation where you put water in the reservoir, it heated up, the light went on, it went solid, you push the button and then nothing happened and it goes back to looking like this right here where you just simply have the power on and nothing going on and then you end up opening and then closing and doing it all over again so what you do is you open you close you put a little bit of water in here tiny bit just the littlest bit you push the button and it will then suck that little bit of water into the reservoir hitting the sensor causing it to then brew your cup so don't do anything crazy like unplug it or do anything fancy like try to repair it yourself just simply add a little bit more water and you're good to go but the safe bet is to go to eight fluid ounces and then pull your mug before it's over. I do wish this had a stop button. I wish this would stop it from brewing, but it can't do that because it's a Keurig and it has nowhere to put the water. So the water has to come out here. There's no ability for the water to run out the bottom and go into the drip tray, which would be amazing. So hopefully this video helped you fix your problem. Okay, here you can see actually on the Keurig website for the K-Mini Plus, you can see it will not brew uh, below six ounces of water. And there you go, you have to add an additional two ounces to the reservoir. So this is how you fix the problem, like I said. Um, so here you can actually see it's on the Keurig website. So that is proof positive that this is a solid fix, a minimum of six ounces of water but i think it needs to be a little bit more all right there you go that is the simple keurig mini plus fix i told you it was simple hopefully it's not too simple that you're like ah i wanted an actual fix i know there are fixes out there we have to take apart the whole thing i don't necessarily do that on this channel you're gonna have to go find someone else for that but for the people i did help please hit that like button please hit that subscribe button join the at home looks family and be a part of this crew I am absolutely in love with YouTube. I'm in love with all my viewers and I'm in love with what I do. I'm a stay-at-home dad. I have two kids and this is how I make a living. So definitely do, do the likes, do the subscribes, 
join the family and make this happy dad even happier. All right, that's the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.